So how do we estimate these conditional probabilities? Right? Because that's what the problem has boiled down to now. I got my training data for free, right? So I have my input uh, sequence x1 to some arbitrary xk, right? I want a function which takes this as input, okay? And then what does it do? It predicts a distribution over the vocabulary, right? So this is p of xk plus 1 uh, given x1 to xk. Is that okay? So this is what I want to do, right? Now how do I come up with a function which takes this input and gives me this probability distribution? Have you ever seen such functions? Please say yes. Encoder, decoder, any of the deep learning functions that we have been doing this, right? So why do you keep getting confused? So we pass an input sequence and we predict a probability distribution. Yes, that's what we do. So this function could be a transformer yes. which has parameters theta. Yes, and then our job is to learn these parameters theta in a way that for a given sequence, my probabilities are such that, that the most likely word has the highest uh, probability. Does that make sense? That is what the learning problem boils down to. Everyone gets this. We will talk of course talk more about this, but I want to make sure that the intuition is clear. So how do we estimate these conditional probabilities? One solution among many solutions is to use what are known as autoregressive models. I uh, will talk a bit more about autoregressive, what does that word mean later on, where the conditional probabilities are parameterized functions with a fixed number of parameters. A very complex sentence. Simply put, it is the diagram which I showed where you pass in an input, you have a function which is parameterized, it has these parameters theta, it takes the input, does the transformations that the function has to do using the parameters that the function has and at the end predicts a probability distribution and that is exactly what we have been doing with the transformer architecture or even the recurrent neural networks and feed forward networks before that, right. So yes, you can use a transformer architecture to do that, right. So what we are interested in is known as causal language modeling where you are given the input sequence and you want to predict the next word, okay. So cause what has been given to you and you have to predict the next word, okay. We are looking for an f theta, a function which has parameters theta such that when you pass the parameters to it, it gives you a probability for the most likely next token, right or it gives you a distribution over the vocabulary. Is that okay everyone? You see these equations are clear to you and nothing profound happening here. Again, this is just the standard chain rule, okay? And all of these need to be estimated. So I just need a function which takes an arbitrary sequence length as input or arbitrary, a sequence of arbitrary length as input and gives me a distribution over the probability. And that function will of course have some parameters theta. It will take x1 to xi minus 1 as input and give me a probability distribution. Yes? Okay? Just one minute. No, it will give a probability of the next token. See all of these, eh, that's what I was trying to tell in the previous slide. Uh, we don't need, so that's what the language model equation is, right? But what are we trying to do? We are trying to do only one part of that, right? Because we'll be giving some input and try to predict the next word. So that is just using one part of this formula, which is P of x k given 1 to x k minus. This is estimating these conditional probabilities, right? not the joint probability. Once you have the conditional probabilities, you can multiply them and get the joint probabilities, right? Uh, not important right now, right? But you have got it right that the transformer, we are using it only for every term in this product, right? Yeah. So you give it a certain input and you expect the k plus 1th word, right? And that's what I wanted to say that I cannot have multiple, I would not want to have multiple functions. One separate function which takes in two words as input and gives me the probability of the third word. Another function which takes four words as input and gives me the fifth word. I want it to be a generic function which takes input of any length and gives me an output distribution over the vocabulary, right? And a transformer as we know, we can do it. Uh, how we'll do it, we'll see uh, going forward. Is that clear everyone? Okay. Can f theta be a transformer? Yes, it could take the first i minus one words and then give you the probability of the ith word, right? So that's how we have connected everything that we have learned so far. Last lecture we learned transformer. This lecture we learned the idea of pre-training. We learned the idea of language modeling. And now we have connected all of this. We can use transformers for language modeling. Is that okay? Fine? Okay. Now, what are the possibilities? 
you could have an encoder only transformer okay we have not seen encoder only models yet so when we see that you will understand what we mean by encoder we could have decoder only transformers we have again not seen decoder only models yet so today the gpt model that we are going to do is a decoder only model or we could have encoder decoder models this is what you have already seen right all of these three are possible and the three lectures right week 2 week 3 week 4 are dedicated to one of these paradigms right today's lecture is dedicated to the introduction to language modeling and now we'll look at gpt which is a decoder only model next week we'll look at bert which is an encoder only model and the week after that we'll look at t5 which is an encoder decoder model right so all these three possibilities would be covered and then all the modern llms that you have you can map it to one of these families with some differences and then we'll zoom into what those differences are right so this sort of picture is what will guide the course going forward okay so today what we are going to do uh, and we'll do that in the next video is talk about decoder only models is that okay